Miami is a major transportation center and is easily reached by all forms of travel. The Latin American influence has given Miami a unique flavor. In the 70s, when I first came down here, everybody was smuggling pot in. The Colombians realized they had a gold mine here. Everybody that before was doing these hot things was now into doing cocaine. The Colombians threw a number at us, $3,000 a kilo. On their first trip, we got paid $1.2 million. Popularity, it began to shoot up. I had never seen so much cocaine in my entire life. I had lawyers, I had doctors. Somebody that could afford what it cost. About 800 an ounce. I had met a stewardess, and she would go from here to San Francisco, selling to the Oakland Raiders, the Grateful Dead. I got the whole front line of the Pittsburgh Steelers in my house. It was everywhere. Clubs, restaurants, it was just everywhere. They made far more money, the Colombians, in a far shorter time than the Mafia ever dreamed. The Federal Reserve Bank in Miami generated a surplus of $5 billion. More money than all of the other Federal Reserve combined. Cocaine deaths in Dade County have now jumped to about two a week. Shotguns, Uzi, handguns. It was the beginning of a war. Salo Blanco was the godmother of the cocaine trade. One mean lady. She likes us to cut people up in little pieces, put them in a small box with a little bow on top. She says, that's the way I do my thing. You have five people killed here, three people killed here. Mass murder. Miami was the most dangerous place on earth. They call them the cocaine cowboys. They call them the cocaine cowboys. Cocaine cowboys. This is why Miami is for you.